Good evening and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We're back here at the Underground Pig Pen, as the name of our, our place is here. Um, we were doing a little bit of work on the uh, apartments last time, and it actually got us into trouble with our people because they just couldn't reach the food they needed. Uh, now they're going to go to sleep again here. We'll dig all that out and be ready to go there. Uh, I can go taller with these apartments. I think that the problem right now is that I don't want to have to have them walk all the way down here to get access. Uh, they will have to go down here to get access to sleep each night, but um, that'll only be, what, at this point, eight people? And then, uh, what I should probably do is I could do the last of the research pretty easily here quick and then be done with this research room. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. We've got the med bay, we got the insulation coming up here, and I really don't care about either of these things. We, the med bays never come up. Um, mesh tile can be used to enclose wall or floor to enclose, can be used to, has a wall or floor to enclose rooms, does not obstruct the flow of liquid or gas. I wonder what that's about, mesh tile. Why is that better? Okay, we'll, we'll do the med bay next. And then we have insulated tile, can be used to transfer, reduce heat transfer between walls. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, this stuff we don't need, but we'll just get it done quick. Uh, and then we can deconstruct this room. We might be able to get rid of that now. I don't know if I need that last bit of research for heat transfer or anything like that. I'm not going to. It's never going to come up for me right now. And really, in this particular alpha, uh, there aren't really a whole lot of things you can do about heat. I mean, you can't, there's nothing that really affects heat, I guess is the way to phrase it. That's kind of on the roadmap right now. Nor More, uh, items that are affected by heat and cold and, and uh, that kind of thing. So, that'll be coming eventually. Uh, why didn't they build this last time? Unreachable. 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 Why is it unreachable? That's pretty interesting. They should be able to reach that. I wonder why they won't, they won't go swimming, apparently. They're not willing to get down in the water here. Uh, I'm gonna have them start deconstructing these ladders here. I don't need those there anymore. And I guess maybe I could leave them for later, but... That's interesting. I wonder if I have to build the ladder all the way across from here. That's gonna be terrible. And actually, you know what though? I might just do that and leave it. Um, yeah. Some, for some reason, I'm not gonna go in the water. I don't know what that is. What's that about? And sandstone's fine for the ladders. Right. Now they should be able to walk across this. It's silly, but it'll work. I think. Now she's walking through the water. It's not unreachable. And now they're fine with it. Okay, whatever I did just now fixed their pathing. So I don't need this whole elaborate system here then. I can cancel these. Now we're gonna have one ladder sitting there because they can't reach that though. No, they can't reach, they can't, they're not gonna hop that. Oh, they are gonna hop that, nice. I forgot they could kind of walk across ladders as a path. I wonder if ladders are the ultimate uh, building material then. Because you can walk across them just like, like, rooms. They aren't treated as a closure though, maybe. But it's kind of interesting. It was also interesting he was just standing on open tile just now. Insufficient oxygen generation again. It's only 20 down right now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Restroom's not built. Why? That should be working just fine. That should be working. Alright, this thing needs po water, power. So let's do, uh... Power for that. Got a lot of zombies going on right now. Interrupted sleep. Yeah, a lot of people getting that lately. Alright, let's take a look at the power here over there. We did this last time. Yeah, there's light in each room now. But if we put a light here, we can probably get light in these two rooms for one one thing here. Uh, did I make this not wide enough? It's one, two, three. Yeah, I made this too... I made that too narrow. Oh, because you know what I wasn't counting is the room for the door. Okay, so we'll have bad bedrooms, we'll have good bedrooms. I guess that's fine. What is this? Uh, harvesting? Okay, harvest those. 
Harvest this, just one harvest remaining on those. Let's deconstruct these crude sculptures here too. Get them out of the way. Got plans, guys. Let's deconstruct this last uh, one here too. I'm gonna put the ladder right here, I think. And I might have this go straight across, I might use this as bedrooms, I don't know exactly yet. That means these bedrooms are actually too small. Yeah, oh well. Well then, this is just about ready. The deodorizer, does it need to be there anymore? Let's take a look here quick. No, there's nothing really to deodorize anymore. It's probably doing its job, but we're just gonna deconstruct it. So this is ready for something new. That's just gonna replant. Okay, good. Oh man, the so storage is just never enough. Let's dig the rest of this here. It's never enough storage. Make sure the water's flowing good here still. Yeah, this never got built here. It still says unreachable. She's going for it? Nice. Good work, Maha. Or doors. Well, now you can hop up on that and jump up there and not be in the water anymore if you don't want to be. Get some air. Not that there's air in here. Well, there's some. I want this thing built today, please. Now it seems like it's turning gray, yellow white again here, so it's, it is reachable finally. Okay, we got the liquid conduit done. We got some of the ladder done. This is still saying unreachable for some reason. Stepped in contaminated water. You okay? Okay, fine. I'll grant you that. You didn't walk through some contaminated water. It is mixed in though. It should bother you that much. All right, so this should be pumping now. It's got no place to go. But let's just take a look and see. Make sure the right water's coming out and all that stuff. Okay, yeah. It's clean water coming out. Get the rest of it done, McNair. Yeah, I know you're breathing right now, but seriously, get the rest of this done, quick, 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 quick. Get it all done. He doesn't like the drab decor. And oxygen. No. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what we need to do then is uh, build some tiles across this then. So they can hop up. And we'll cancel this last one. And then they can hop into this tunnel here. Uh, once we get that built, I think we will build a uh, a coal thing down here for power and make a. Let's see, we need water down here though, don't we? I guess they just need to bring water with them. Or put, or put a little water pool down here somehow. Well, we'll see. I used granite for this, I don't know if that was a good idea. Doesn't need to be fancy. That's alright. It says breathable gas, like we own it. I don't know. I don't understand exactly why it's saying that. Alright, so I think we're ready for some tiles through here then. Also. A little bit of hydrogen mixed into here. Okay, so we're ready for a water pipe on this thing too. So we'll just go like this. That's all. That's all we need to do. So a little bit of the reclaimed water will get put into this thing and turn into oxygen then. And this doesn't use up algae, it just uses up water. I mean, water is the bigger resource right now, though, is I think the problem. 
Uh, we don't really have a good way of getting water back. Oh, more people. Just what I wanted. We need 15, 15 dupes now. Ooh, two people stressed also. Let's see who it is. Eugene is a massage table master now. And the other person is Elvira. Okay, can't help them both, so we gotta choose one or the other. Uh, Alright, and then we'll get a new pod here. New person here. New dupe here. Let's see what we got. We got somebody good at digging and strength. Loud sleeper. We're gonna have our own private bedroom pretty soon here. Um, that should be cool. Uh, can't build. Learning, decoration, I don't really care about that. Interior decorator, creativity and decor, expectation, plus five, okay. Otherwise he's okay at digging, he's a slow learner, that's fine. I kind of want to just go with the, the bodybuilder here. Otherwise I go with Zeke. Who has a loud sleeper, but we could give her her own bedroom. And then, it's not a problem. I mean, just as good as, just as good as strength, digging, yeah, we'll go with Zeke. Loud sleeper, we'll, we'll deal with it. Uh, we'll sign this to Zeke then. Give them their own room, a little further away from everybody. Should be good. They gotta walk all the way down into their room now. Oh, you know what we can't do is reach that. To construct that tower right there, we'll be good. Water's starting to fall down in here, so I think we are going to build this other pipe in here. Let's deconstruct this pipe. Let's, uh, let's get this thing set up in here. We're going to start getting this pipe water piped in, I think. Uh, we'll put it down into here. It needs power also. Uh, we need to wrench the power off here then. A lot of copper we'll need for that. And then we'll also need some liquid pipes. Coming off of this. And that'll be good. Okay. And then we'll need that pumping into a spot over here someplace. Hmm. Well, okay, now we need a now we need a bridge because I don't want the new water getting confused with the the uh new newly pumped water. Hmm. What can we do? It would be great to get it back over this pipe here. I guess what we can do is Change the way we're flowing this. Okay, we'll do that, and then we can pipe overlay, deconstruct liquid pipes, deconstruct these liquid pipes through here, and then we can run this over to a spot over here to drain it in. All right, and we'll do that for now. All right, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. And yeah, we'll just put like a, a liquid vent here. And just run this pipe into that then. Alright, so for more fresh water then. The last fresh water we have around here, basically. And then we're going to be starting to convert uh, contaminated water. Once the system gets up and running here, it should be fine. But it's slow going right now. Because this is not getting built. Uh, is it waiting on obsidian because it's something we don't have? No, it should have obsidian. Let's prioritize this and get it done faster. Elvira is at 70% now. I think I'm going to switch this out then for Elvira. Sorry, Eugene. I know you didn't get much uh, rest on that one, but I'm trying to get you guys both down at once. 
I could build another table pretty easily though. I need one of these beds to be unassigned. There's no way everybody's got a bed now. Shoot. Alright, well let's put some more beds in here then. Let's go, uh... Furniture... Cots through here again. Let's add some more beds in. This one's full again already, jeez. Let's deconstruct a bed. And let's put another massage table in, because we need it badly. Um, where is the massage table? There it is. Well, we'll do that in a second, once they get this uh, deconstructed. There it goes. Massage table in there, set it to a seven, get that done fast. Let's get obsidian. I think we could probably make that out of something else, but let's take a look here quick and see. Furniture, massage table, granite. I like that better. Granite provides the decor bonus, so we'll do that. Is McNair stuck in here? No, he's not. He's coming down, okay. I just see him always up there, so I'm wondering. This stuff says it's unreachable. Again, I don't know why it says that. Someone could probably let me know in the comments, I'm sure. It might have something to do with the contaminated water. They don't want to voluntarily go into the water, maybe. Um, but yeah, it always is unreachable over here. I can't do anything about it. It's really, it's really hurting our style here. Really cramping our style. Let's do this. This system was going to work before. It, it would take less some time to do just do this. Let's just do that. It seemed to be gonna work. It seemed like it was gonna work for him before. Now it's all reachable again. I don't know what's going on. It's changing like on an hourly basis if it's reachable or not. Once this, this stuff gets in, it should be reachable. I don't know. All right, we got this built. Let's sign it to uh, who we got another stress for. Eugene. Eugene, you can have your own bed. Your uh, massage table now too. Insufficient resources, more algae problems. Problem is when we start getting down into here, it's gonna be very much oxygen problem here. Hmm. Is there a place we can build up? Let's take a look at that quick here. Cause there's this algae here. Is there a way to get to it? All right. Well, let's okay. Let's think about that. If we go dig, I should be able to bounce up all this stuff here. Then we're gonna get into some problems over here. I think. Yeah. So we'll need a ladder here to get up to this last part here. Put a ladder through here. And then finally dig over to here. This is gonna take a long time. But I can get all that. Sounds good. Alright, let's speed through the night here. And then we need the slime, uh. So it looks like the, the sound waves from snoring only fills up the room right here, so we don't actually even need doors on these rooms. Which will certainly help the situations. The doors don't seem to do a whole lot, so that's fine. We're on fast speed here still. Alright, who's still stressed? Eugene. That's alright, you should find his massage table then. Alright, that's getting built. Alright, now the water is supposed to go here finally.
Working on that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It's gonna take a long time to pump all that out, though. Water's hanging on pretty well. How's this thing doing? Filling it up. How much is it producing? It is... Getting empty pipe. So we can't really see very often. Okay, so this might not be a perfect system here because it's getting empty pipe quite often. Um, this thing doesn't flow through constantly. It feel, oh yeah, see this is not doing much because it, it's just not gonna be connected properly. It needs a, it needs a, a constant source of water, I think, for this electrolyzer. It uses up a lot of water and this is not produ producing enough, often enough. So, that said, this is probably not a good spot for it. Take a look at the system here quick. Where else could we put it? Where it can get a more constant stream of oxygen, or of water, rather. Um, and I don't really want to hook this up just yet because it... It takes so much water, and it and we guess I guess, we, algae is another problem too. I guess we need to do something. Also, I just realized we don't have a way to get up there because we de we uh, sealed this off before. Um, and there's no oxygen up through here. It's all hydrogen, isn't it? Yeah, we need to get it. We need to get something else going on up there. All right, tell you what, the priority here I think is to switch to algae. I'm not going to worry about getting this. We need to get the processing for algae done. I think that's the goal for today. Uh, all right, so what do we all need for that? For the refinement for the bio distiller, we need slime, power, liquid output. We gotta produce contaminated water, which makes make, makes it put make more sense to put it down here. Uh, let's put it right here then in this room, and uh, we will put in. That right there and then we'll put the output into the contaminated tank here once it's built and then we need to take the algae from over here all the way over to there or yeah we need the slime all the way from here over to there just for a little bit of just for a little bit of Algae. We might as well dig all that out. Dig out what we can reach here. For now. It's a start. Slow start, but it's a start. And then once we have that, we can put another. We can get rid of this thing. I think we'll just deconstruct this for now. Ill fated thing. We did, it was not positioned well enough. Our water supply is dwindling, so I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, we do have some water in here we could we could distill also and back into regular water. I'm thinking this thing's not running also all the time because it's not getting enough contaminated water. So we might need to start filling this up with contaminated water. Which we have some of around here, not a whole lot. Over here there's a lot. I would say, I would say we should probably try to dig up like this. Um, let's dig like this. And dig up to this slime here. Make stairs, kinda. And then we'll have a, a problem of contaminated water falling on our heads here. And then this contaminated water will fill up the pool here, which we can just put another pump in. We're already wired in. Uh, so if we can keep filling up this pool with contaminated water, it'll be okay. I think that's a decent plan. Uh, we need to get this thing going fast, fast enough here, too. And then we have this set up for an emergency plan. All we need to do is break this down, but then we'll have a hydrogen problem going on. Hydrogen should rise. Alright, this is this is almost going. Finally, after an episode of, of trying to get stuff done over here. And I'm thinking I'll just leave the ladders now. Alright, so. 
This should factor out that contaminated water from over there once it comes in. Which will never happen because it's all sitting over here. But just in case, I guess. This is like an in-case system we made. And now the water's flowing from here into back into here. It seems like it's taking a lot more water for this than it is giving out though, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that might be a problem. I don't know if it's bugged or what. The systems aren't... I want to see, I want to see when it's working here. It like flashes for a second and I can't see what it's doing. Alright. It's supposed to be 100% efficiency on that one, I think, though. This is coming along. I'm nearly done with it. Nearly got the power in. And then once we get that, we get some more water filled up this and filling up this thing here. And somebody will dig this out, it'll start flowing this contaminated water down into here. And this guy does contaminated air, is what his deal is. So we need to contaminate the air, which we have a lot of over here as well. We'll just let this guy out eventually. I think we might need a way to seal him into a room though, too. Okay, so... Apartments are done. We just need to clean them up a little bit. There's one more over here to do. Once we're done with the rest. And then we'll need a way for them to access up here. Without taking this big ladder from the bit from, from the bottom. We do need a ladder right here, speaking of. Okay, this is ready to go. Uh, we need power for it. And then we need the water output. And we'll bring that into... Liquid pipe. Put that into here. That also means we'll get, uh, from contaminated air, we can get slime using that, that puffed guy. And then if we get, uh, slime, it turns back into contaminated air, no, it turns into contaminated water. Contaminated water gives us more water out of here then, which is excellent. So, not a bad system. Alright, so get those last pieces done there. This is going again now. Pumping water, all this will go. We should probably just mine these last two bricks here. So that it get the, gets flowing through here all the way. It'll suck up all this water here then. Never have to worry about another thing. Next, what else? What's next on the horizon here? Well, if I can get this thing going, I'll be happy. I'll be quite happy. And then we can focus on getting the slime going over here, and I'll, I'll set the priority up on these. They can't actually get in there very easily right now is the problem. Oh, we got a copper again? Nope, not yet. Okay. Look, we kind of what's going in. Oh, just eat like a raw thing here. Good. Just eat a raw meal lice. Alright, well since it's night, I think I'll wrap up the episode there. Uh, we'll be back for another episode very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments, tips, anything like that. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, of course. And I'll uh, see you guys next time for more. Have a good night.